The average vaccine development process takes between 12 and 15 years. However, a COVID-19 vaccine is expected to become available within 12 to 18 months since the World Health Organization declared the novel coronavirus a global pandemic on March the 11th. The full DNA sequence of the COVID-19 virus was made available on January 10th, making it possible for developers to begin producing a candidate vaccine. DNA is the hereditary material found in humans and nearly all organisms. A DNA-based vaccine allows researchers to create a vaccine without growing the virus in a cell or egg culture, steps that could last up to six years. Clinical trials consist of three stages and use human participants. Phase 1 aims to confirm if the vaccine is safe to use on humans and what immune response it raises. Phase 2 continues to test safety and immunity, while Phase 3 is the final test of the vaccine's overall efficacy. Across the globe, there are currently nine candidate vaccines undergoing Phase 3 trials. There are 14 in Phase 2 and 25 in Phase 1. FITS has partnered with the University of Oxford to run the Oxford trial in South Africa, which began on June 24. And FITS is also leading the Novavax trial, which started on August 17. Clinical trials can run for five to nine years before a vaccine is submitted for approval. However, according to Professor Martin Feller, Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences and participant in the Oxford trial, we do not have time. These, these things take years, but you don't have the opportunity in infectious pandemics to do so. There are ways in which clinical trials can be accelerated. Phase 2 and 3 can overlap, and an adaptive trial design, where researchers respond to results immediately, can be used. If the vaccine passes the third phase, which is the most important, the manufacturer submits all data to a regulatory authority and applies for a marketing license. In South Africa, the regulatory agency is the South African Health Products Regulatory Agency, or SAPRA. If a vaccine's use is approved internationally, SAPRA can expedite its approval in under two years. With all available evidence and risks clearly identified, we can trust a rapidly produced COVID-19 vaccine. According to Johnny Maklangu, head of the National Health Laboratory Service and School of Pathology in the Faculty of Health Sciences at WITS, vaccine safety is the main priority. And that's the one area that one could never compromise on is safety and quality.